Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, President of Trident Concepts, and I'm here with the Firearms Training Association to talk to you about how to help students when it comes to the three-tiered system. So I'm talking to the instructors, and when, when you're an instructor trying to teach concealed carry, the key thing that you're going to have to remember is what works for you is probably not going to work for them. You have to be able to present such a wide berth of options that they can see the big picture, and then you have to be able to narrow in on what is critical for their mission, right? So remember, the mission drives the gear. So you have to be able to identify what that mission is. In this case, concealed carry. Then once you can narrow in on concealed carry being the mission, it helps you with regards to all the support and equipment. Um, my thing that I like to do is have plenty of samples, plenty of props that they can handle themselves. So I typically have about, and obviously this is not necessarily easy for everybody, but I have about 15 to 20 holsters. Then I have probably about five or six belts. Uh, then I might have some other supporting equipment like magazine pouches, probably have about two or three different magazine pouch options. And I talk about, first of all, I lay out the, um, the criterion for selection, right? So for this holster to be selected for concealed carry, it has to have this, right? Once I've identified that as a criterion, then I go to each of these holsters and I identify each of those features that supports that criterion. And I pass them around to the class so they can feel with them. The other thing that I'm really happy about doing is loaning them out. Um, if you haven't had this experience before, you'll find that many students will purchase a holster without really knowing what they're buying. And then they come to a training class and then once they're there, they have to work with that holster. So one of the other reasons to having the selection of holsters is so that you can loan them out. Um, if that holster that the student brought is unsafe, do not let them use it under any circumstance. If it's unsafe, it's unsafe. And then you have holsters that you can then hopefully supply as a loaner. I always remind students these are, these are not gifts, so please make sure you return them. But um, it makes it very easy for a student to still have a positive experience in the class even though they brought a crappy holster. The next thing that we talk about um, as far as the show and tell is uh, the belts. On the belts, um, the nice thing about having a selection of belts is that you're eventually, you're ultimately going to have some type of belt option that will appeal to, to a particular person's lifestyle. And that's the key thing is that you're going to have students from all different walks of life. They're not going to all have the same mindset that you have and and that should be welcomed you should encourage that you should have these folks that come from all different walks of life because that's our ultimate goal is to bring more people into the fold so if they don't have the same mindset as you that's okay that's not a big deal uh, what you do want to try to work towards though is you do want to try to help them to understand the importance behind a belt uh, the belt for me is probably one of the areas where i see a lot of people just not really putting a lot of thought into it. it's an afterthought i mean it, it, you got to put it in perspective too for a new shooter new to concealed carry they're probably not going to expend a, a lot of resources um, to buy a firearm much less to buy a good holster much less to buy a good belt so keep that in perspective which is again why i like to have belts because i have loaned a fair amount of belts out um, the last thing are magazine pouches magazine pouches are a form of convenience when we're training i don't recommend magazine pouches for concealed carry because most of the time we're trying to get people to move their firearm inside the waistband but magazine pouches are still designed around on the waistband so you might move the gun inside the waistband but still carrying a mag pouch so you're kind of still defeating the purpose of the optimal levels of concealment so uh, mag pouches are still a work in progress there are several ways that you can get around that teaching them to draw or I'm sorry teaching them to reload from a pocket front pocket back pocket those are both viable options there are more discreet mag carriers that fit into pockets that facilitate that. Um, inside the waistband mag pouches are not um, unheard of, but finding some that are comfortable is the key.